UK. Hello to Michael and Paisley. You're on Clyde 1 and Clyde 2 Super Scoreboard, Michael. How you doing, Pan? All right? Yep. Hi, Hi Michael. Michael. Good stuff. Just a wee question for yourself. Uh-huh. Every time you always badmouth Celtic, you. Every single time. Every turn you've got, you badmouth them. Not once have you turned around and said how well they've done to get to that last 16. With that squad of players that Celtic have got, and that injury list that they've got, not once have you mentioned injuries that Celtic have got. All right. you keep going on about is how bad they're there and how bad they're here. We've got so many injuries here. Probably about six of the, the injuries we've got would start every week. Michael, I have praised Celtic time without number. This is the most tiresome argument that you get. There must have been some occasion, Michael, when you have been listening. There must have been when you've heard me praise Celtic. I have praised them in every way. I reserve the right to be critical of them when I feel the need has arisen. As I reserve the right to be critical of Rangers or reserve the right to praise Rangers, Michael, your argument is totally unfair. Oh, we've put Scot- Scottish football on the map for two seasons. We've had highlights that you wouldn't believe. And not once do you recommend these and say, fantastic, well done Celtic. It's always about Rangers and Walter Smith and how far he's brought Michael, that Rangers simply, forward. And Michael, nonsense. Michael, that is simply not true. We've been at the Celtic games, home and abroad. We have praised Celtic. I have praised Celtic. It is simply not true. But anyway, we gave you the platform to say what you wanted to say, no matter how inaccurate and incorrect it may be. 0800 027 1025 is the number to dial. Graham and East Co-Bride. hello. Good evening, panel. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, thank you. I'd like to put my point to Darrell King, please. He's here. Fire away, Graham. Yes, Darrell. Uh, you stated earlier on that uh, Celtic would only make $1.7 million for being in the last 16 in the Champions League. Yep. And additional money. Mm-hmm. But it's actually been stated on uh, a national television channel tonight that Celtic will make in excess of £15 million pound for getting to that stage. Graham, I, I said if you listen properly, uh, Alec from Renfrew phoned in and asked if there was any additional TV money. I said that the payment from UEFA was an extra £1.7 million for getting through, not in total. You got to listen to what, total, li- so what, what, what is your total? Are you going to revise that? Well, I don't need to revise it. If you listen to what I said properly, you would know what I meant. No, well, you said <coughs> you, no, me, no, you no. said 1.7 million, but uh, an ex-Rangers manager on national television tonight said that the biggest problem tonight with Rangers not getting through to the last 16 would be the fact that Celtic would have an additional £15 million to spend well, in January on players. Well, that, whoever said that is factually no, correct. No, I know you didn't say that. What you said was £1.7 million. Well, that's all they get in television. So that's wherein is the difference? The difference is, do you want me to go right back to the start and explain it again? Are you, oh. listening, are you listening to me this time, Graham? All due respect, you're not listening to what I'm saying. They get an extra £1.7 million pounds from UEFA. That's on top of what they've already earned. Celtic and Rangers have earned more or less the same money. They've more or less at this stage earned about 12, 13 million pounds each. And if you want me to break it all down and be here all night, I will do it. They get, do you want me to do it? No, let's not bother. Let's take a break. And when we come back, we'll be hearing from uh, David Weir and uh, Brahim Hemdani.